Hey, today we're going to make a basic poultice. Come on in for a closer look. So a poultice is basically a paste made of powder and water that you apply to your skin. And it's uh, it's not much more different. It's, it's not much more complicated than that. So I'm gonna start with an herbal powder. This is some plantain. Still, it still uh, smells pretty good, even though really I need to use this up because uh, it's getting older, but it still smells potent. So plantain, in this case, add some water, and stir, stir, stir. And I want to get a paste. If it's too watery, it won't stay in place, and it'll run everywhere, and if it's too too stiff, then it won't interact with my skin. The medical constituents, they won't interact with the skin properly. You know, that is pretty good. I'm going to give it a little more water. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it and see if I can keep from making it too watery. Oh, the pressure's on. I think I put too much in. Really, it's not rocket science. If it gets too wet, add more powder. If it's too dry, add more water and you have a pretty wide margin for error in all honesty. Um, you're not gonna ruin the whole thing if it's a little too runny or a little too thick. You know, I like this one. I like how this is. Look at that, I, could, I can basically mold it. But it's still pretty loose. So, let's imagine I have a, uh, I don't know, a cut or a bite or something here. Well, it's plantain, let's imagine that I have a, a sting this plantain is good for that. And you just want to goop it on. Now, if you're worried about it coming off, I'm not, but if you were worried about getting it off, this was a very delicate area, you could put down a thin little layer of oil. So there, so if, if I had a sting, this would actually be a pretty, a pretty nice size for the poultice. You like them to be fairly thick. You can see how thick that is. Kind of like a hamburger patty. And uh, a general rule for size is something like two times the size of the affected area. That is not a hard and fast rule, but it's a pretty good general rule. Now I could wrap it just like this, but I might find that I have trouble with this uh, with this blop of herb getting shifted around as my bandage moves around. So I could uh, just fold up an extra piece of cloth and stick it on there. Or I could get one of these uh, gauze pads, and I'll use that today. And I can stick this, I think I'll do it like this. I can stick this on top of the plant, and that will uh, give a little extra layer of insulation to keep it from getting bumped and jostled around. Now, I want to wrap the whole thing, and I could use something like these nice elastic bandages, or you can use something as simple as just a uh, dish towel wrap the area. Now the elastic bandage will, will help you keep it closed all on its own. Something like a dish towel you could use. You could use a clothespin, you could wrap it in um, you could wrap it in duct tape or masking tape or just take the end of the cloth and tuck it in on the opposite side. Look at that. I've got it nice and poulticed up. I've still got it where I can still use the fingers so I can grab stuff. And that, uh, that, that uh, poultice material is securely fastened on there. And then I could leave this on for 3, 4, 5, 6, even 12 hours if I needed to. And then reapply as necessary. And that's really all there is. That is your basic poultice right there. Now go out and try it.